public waters. That's one thing I really like about what they've done here, you know, is uh, Governor Whitmer stood up for the public trust. The public trust. That's what I would like Governor Waltz to do in Minnesota, stand up for the public trust. But if the governor won't stand up, I will. And so will the citizens. Because these, these, these waters don't belong to Enbridge. They belong to us. They belong to Mother Earth. You have a rogue Canadian corporation that is basically holding the Great Lakes hostage in state after state. They are scaring state officials, you know, and um, in Minnesota, the Public Utilities Commission said that they thought that they, they felt like they had a gun to their head. It's why they approved line three. In Wisconsin, they didn't find it necessary to tell a state that they had a spill that was 1,200 gallons. And then they sued the Bad River Band to ask them to move on. But here in Michigan, your governor, your att attorney general have the courage to stand up for the people and stand up for the water. And, um, you know, what we need is, uh, we don't need a Canadian multinational holding us all hostage. And that's right now what they're doing. The question I would ask is, who gets the honor of being the last tar sands pipeline? Who gets that honor? You know, it's kind of like the last guy to die in Vietnam, isn't it? Who wants to tell that soldier he's the last man to die for an unjust war? Who wants to tell some Ojibwe's that they're the last people to have their water contaminated so that Enbridge can make a buck? When Line 5 is shut down, which is what it must be, that sends a very clear message that we are done. You know, Canada just can't use us as a slush to get oil back up into Canada so they can sell it to India. That party is over. You know, it's time to begin addressing the fossil fuel infrastructure crisis we have in this country. And the first step is to close down the riskiest pipeline there is, which is this one, you know, and then we'll move after that. But, you know, we all know that this country has a D in infrastructure and that all across this country, there are pipelines and uh, pipe infrastructure that is, that is beginning to uh, disintegrate. And so let's clean it up before it gets worse.